Hey guys, what's up? It's just Connor here. Hope you're having an amazing day as per usual. Now, as you can probably see immediately right, right again, right away, it looks like I'm filming out of a potato. It's because I basically am. I'm filming out of my laptop camera with some very poor lighting because my external camera will not cooperate with me. I've been trying to use it for the past 30 minutes to an hour. And then I just thought, fuck it, I don't care. I'm just gonna record this video or the next couple of videos anyway. So expect a drop in video quality this week, but the audio quality is gonna be okay because we're using this Blue Yeti, right? We might be seeing some upgrades next week when I fly back to Tasmania, right? Keen to get out of Bali, keen to get back home and back in a good, solid working space where everything actually works and uh, things don't break for absolutely no reason. But nonetheless, the content will still be good this week, so don't you worry about that, okay? So let's talk about the topic of today's video, which the title will be something along the lines of how people make good money in high ticket sales, right? A lot of times this is very much confused because most people think if I just learn to get good at sales, then that automatically equates to me making a lot of money. Yes, it does help you make more money. Absolutely, I would agree. But having the right opportunity is super, super important and a few other variables that I want to talk about today, all right? So let's talk about my first point. Number one is time, right? Sales skills in itself, right? I like to really extend the timeline for a lot of the guys in the RSA and not say it's a 30, 60, 90 day journey because it simply isn't. It's gonna take you six months to a year to get any somewhat good at sales, right? You can be taught a process, you can be taught all the things that you need to know, you can be taught this, you can taught that, you can be given a script, you can be given that, right? Didn't try to rhyme there, but at the end of the day, you guys must understand that sales is a skill that simply takes time and repetition to get good at, right? And how you make good money is the more time you do it, the better you get, the more money you make, right? Now, granted, given I'm going to talk about sales skills and why that's so important later, but even if you get a mentor, you spend $20,000 a mentor, yes, that's going to put you significantly ahead of others in the game of selling, right? But you must understand time is a variable that you cannot beat, you cannot cheat it, right? You get what is called, I believe, sales IQ, right? And it's developed over time by conversations, by repetitions, and with any new process, right? Whether or not you're selling business opportunity, whether or not you're selling cybersecurity certification, business coaching, whatever it is, simply you must understand that sales just takes time to get good at no matter who you're working with, right? Even if you get a bad trainer, yes, that's gonna put you behind a while and that's just the nature of it. However, you must understand getting into sales is just something that takes time and it takes repetition. Most people think just by buying a course, it's gonna instantly make you a god at sales, right? Couldn't be further from the truth. I've been doing this for four, nearly going on five plus years now. And I can tell you, this is the truth. Getting good at sales just takes time and how you make good money in high ticket sales or just sales in general as a career is you need to be in it for time, right? Not to say that you can't do very well in a short amount of time, but you will get better the time goes on. A lot of people come in this industry, don't get good results because again, they don't have the right opportunity, they don't have the right skills. Whole nother conversation. <laughs> if you wanna learn more about that, go watch the rest of my videos. But they do one month or two months or three months in sales and they don't get extremely good. They get upset, they crack the shits and they leave the industry, right? That's a one way trip to failing, right? One way trip, right? In anything in life, what, like, what do you know in anything in life that is cheap, it is fast, it is easy, right? Nothing good in this life becomes, is, is easy. There's no shortcut, right? There's no hack. There's a way to smart cut, there's a way to walk there in a more efficient way, but there is no way to shortcut things, guys. And the more, that the, the easier or the more that you adapt the mentality, again, that things aren't gonna be easy and things aren't gonna be ha like handed to you overnight, and they don't happen in 30, 60, 90 days, the more results that you will get, and not just in the short term, but also the long term, because people nowadays, with TikTok, Instagram, Reels, short form content, all that type of stuff. Everybody has a short attention span. They have bad forms of dopamine, right? And, you know, very cheap forms of dopamine. And they like to go in, 
get results with something, get out. It's not how it works, guys. Simply important to understand, the more time that you have in sales, the more money you will make, right? So that's the first way to make more good money in sales. Second way is networking, right? Super, super important, guys. I talk about this all the time, but again, I think it's something that I wanna talk about uh, quite frequently because not enough people are actually quite listening to this and really taking it on board. In my own experience, I've spent upwards of $50,000 specifically on sales training. There's not many people that will be able to tell you that, right? I know firsthand experience that just having sales skills alone will not enable you to make the money that you wanna make in high ticket sales. It is everything and more to do with your opportunity, right? You guys would have seen Kashi, uh, we interviewed him on the train, uh, on the channel about a week ago or two weeks ago. He made his first seven or $8,000 a month in his, I think, second or third month, right? He's on track to do $10,000 this month in November or something like that, super crazy. Right, And he said, even now, I don't feel to where I'm at the level of being super competent or really good at sales. I actually think it's more to do with the opportunity. And he is absolutely right, right? Do not let sales trainers or you know really anyone else tell you that sales skills is more important than your ability to land the right opportunity to capitalize on those sales skills, right? So, so, so important to understand, yet most people get sold into the dream or the facade or the dream happy land that's so esoteric that doesn't exist, right? That the better you get at sales, the more the money you make, right? While in some element, there is some truth to that, which I'm about to speak about in a second because that's my third point. You need to make sure that you have the right networking skills to give you the ability to land the opportunities to make the money that you wanna make. Again, I spoke, I speak about this all the time, but a shit closer on a good offer can make 15 to 20, I've even seen 30,000 per month in some cases, in commissions, USD every single month. But a good closer on a bad opportunity can make less than 5K a month, right? Sometimes I've seen some of the very best sales people, including myself, make way less than 5K a month because they're told this facade that they need to keep investing in sales training, keep buying sales training. If you're not making the commissions that you want, it's because you're not as good as you think you are. It's you're not as good as you need to be to sell your prospects, which could not be further from the truth. And I wish more people knew that because that is a facade that led me to spending $50,000 on my sales training, right? But not being able to make the commissions that I wanted to make until I realized it was more about the opportunity, less about the sales skill, right? Now, bringing me to my final point here, which is again, <laughs> kind of contradicts what I've just mentioned, but it goes, they're both equally important, right? Networking is equally as important as your sales skills. How you make good money in sales is of course, you get good at sales. But like I mentioned before, in the point I mentioned earlier, you need the opportunity to capitalize on them, right? If you're pairing a good opportunity with good sales skills, you can well and truly make 20 to 50,000 per month in USD commissions, right? That is completely realistic and absolutely possible. Yes, those are the top 1% of offers, but what's stopping you from doing that, right? Absolutely nothing, right? The only thing that's stopping you is you up here, right? We all create our own reality based off our beliefs and our perceptions, right? And so the way that you enable yourself to make more money in high ticket sales and good money at that even if you're just looking to make between eight and 15,000 per month, which is most people, most people watching my YouTube channel would be very happy, very glad with eight to 10,000 per month, being able to travel the world, go to Bali like I'm traveling right now, right? And like a bunch of the RSA guys looking to get a house in Thailand early next year, right? I think there's five or six of them, which is really, really cool. I'm actually gonna be um, visiting them um, if they end up following through with that. But at the end of the day, you have to get really good sales skills. That is really important. And it's not something that you can tiptoe around. Like you actually have to be really good to capitalize on opportunity, right? But having the opportunity to capitalize under that is pretty much more important than sales skills, in my opinion and my experience, right? But getting a mentor and getting the help that you need with the sales skill is incredibly important, right? So for example, 
Um, I don't have anything inside the RSA at the moment that is, you know, helping guys one-on-one, that is, you know, more of uh, added support, you know, maybe like an up-level training program or something like that inside the RSA for guys to get more support to get better at sales skills. So in the interim, while I don't have that, there are other sales trainers that are actually recommend to people that I think are fantastic at what they do um, to, again, get better sales skills, right? For one, one of my mentors, Jeremy Miner, fantastic at what he does, right? Also, I know a gentleman named Bill Walsh who also has a great reputation inside the industry for selling and get, getting better at sales. My job with the RSA is to take you from complete zero, absolute beginner, to getting you to that 10K per month mark, eight to 10K per month, so that you can have the freedom that you actually look for originally getting in this industry, right? I have no problem recommending other sales trainers. I know there are people that are way better than me at sales. I don't claim to be the best sales trainer on the planet, sales coach, salesperson, right? But at the end of the day, it is really important that you do have a mentor that teaches you an efficient strategy, right? I have seen 90% of the market's uh, training for people who do the exact same thing that I do. I can assure you, their sales training is incredibly poor. They are setting you up to fail. The training is terrible. It's all regurgitated marketing bullshit that one guy bought this other guy's course and now he's copying that course and now he's selling that course and blah, 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 and so on, so on, so on, right? There are people that are really good at sales and I have no problem recommending them and I know the validity of them because I've either trained none of them, I've done their mentorship, or I know the reputation that the other person upholds, right? I can assure you, 95% of the people that you're looking at in this industry, teaching you how to get in high ticket sales, become a high ticket closer, blah, 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 so on, so on, right? Do not know what they're talking about when it comes to sales and they are incredibly poor at it. If you want further proof, go look at my full length sales call on my YouTube channel. Go look at if they have one of those. I can guarantee you they probably don't and I can guarantee you it's probably not selling somebody else's stuff, right? It's very rare that they do that because again, they never did the stuff, guys. And you guys probably know the drill by now. So anyways, coming back to my point, getting a mentor, getting someone who is good at sales, who has done what you wanted to do and can verify that, can prove that, then you should absolutely get better sales skills to up your game because the better you get at sales, because it's meritocracy, the better you get at it, the more results you bring to the table, the more you get paid, right? So it's definitely something to keep your focus on but your first primary objective getting this industry as a beginner should be focusing 80% of your time and attention on landing a good opportunity that's gonna allow the advancement, gonna give you good training, give you support, pay you well, all these other types of things, okay? So with that finally said, guys, those are the three ways that you can make good money in high ticket sales. Time under tension, frequency, conversations, right? Actually working with different companies, experience, right? Number two, networking. How do you get the opportunity to capitalize once you've learned the right sales skills? And of course, once you get the right opportunity, invest in somebody, work with a guide, make sure that you're working with the right person that can teach you the right sales skills to actually capitalize on that sales opportunity. Do your research, look at who's got the best results, look at who can really help you. Because I can assure you, the sales trainer that you're probably working with that taught you how to get into high ticket sales, if you've already started working with somebody, which many of you that watch my YouTube channel unfortunately have, uh, they're probably not very good. I can tell you that much for free. And they don't have much of a track record and they cannot prove it, all right? So again, at the end of the day, guys, you guys know what to do. Smash the like button. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. A lot of you guys watch my YouTube videos and get a lot of value, I'm sure, but don't end up subscribing. Want to hit at least a thousand by the end of the year. That's a big goal of mine. So that would be really cool to hit. Otherwise, guys, hope you're having an amazing day. Hopefully you got some value from today's video and you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, stick around for the videos for the rest of the week. I'll speak to you guys soon.